We're learning more tonight about a small plane that crashed in Steamboat Springs, killing two people on board. The NTSB investigation continues tonight and the crash site will be closed for days. Nine News reporter Lawrence Kafiti is along now with details. And Lauren, what new did we learn today? Today we learned that the people in that plane were 67-year-old Dan Dunn and 42-year-old Jessica Melton. They're both from the Front Range area. Their plane took off from Longmont yesterday, headed for Ogden, Utah, before crashing into a mobile home park in Spring Steamboat Springs. This is the third small plane crash in Colorado so far this month. Our 9 News aviation expert, Greg Feith, says... Colorado has two things working against them when it comes to flying. That's high altitude and high temperature. That affects how well a plane flies. Fight says performance does suffer this time of year, no matter what kind of plane it is. He says you also also have to consider the number of pilots up in the air because Colorado has about the fourth most pilots in the air compared to other states, which naturally means more accidents. He said it's kind of like driving a car on the freeway. It's kind of like having five car accidents on I-70. The result was the same. Yeah, you had five car accidents, but the initiating factors were all different. And that's why it's so important that we ferret out or investigate these accidents to try and determine not only the cause, but the lessons learned. And this was interesting. He adds the high altitude and high pressure are why runways at DIA are so long. It's because it's harder for any plane to get off the ground when it's 100 degrees out compared to maybe 30 degrees. He says pilots need to be prepared for the unexpected and know the best spot to put down the plane if needed. In the studio, Lawrence Cafiti, 9 News.